spring ball continues along for the head coach Nick Hill and the Saluki football program as they get ready for Friday night, which will be special and open practice for everybody to come see the team in DuCoin with some special season ticket prices and all that. And we'll get to that in a moment. But Coach Hill, number one, all right, how's the head coach feel? As you're a couple weeks now into these early mornings, cold, windy practices of spring ball. Yeah, this morning we wrapped up practice eight, so we're halfway through. You know, we got we got seven left, and one of those has to be a, just a helmets only practice. So, got a lot of good work in. You know, what you're trying to accomplish in the spring is, you know, installing your your base. You know, offense, defense, special teams, and getting back to the basics like we've talked about before. But then also identifying those guys that uh, are consistent and you can trust and having a good idea going into the summer of what your team's going to look like. And I think we're accomplishing that uh, every day. We have an opportunity to get better. And, you know, a lot of situational football, um, especially now that we have a lot of the installs in. So now it's, you know, putting them into, you know, two-minute situations and third downs and red zone and emphasizing the things that we've got to get better at and l looking at some things that we need to grow in as a coaching staff that, uh, we'll install that that might be new from last year. We knew that there were going to be guys that were going to emerge here in the spring and get great opportunities because you no longer have a Cox at receiver. You no longer have a Roe Elliott or Justin Strong at running back. And, of course, Nick at quarterback. Offensively first, where do you feel some of the impact transfers, some of the impact newcomers have really flourished so far in the spring? What have you been encouraged by? Yeah, I've, I've really been encouraged by all of those those new guys just – you know, like I've told them uh, every day that you're not going to be ready made in seven practices in a brand new offense. It's really about learning and then it's really about taking that that knowledge from the meetings. You're going to make mistakes. I don't want them out there you know, you're trying not to make a mistake six, seven practices in. You're going to make some mistakes. But uh, all of those guys have done a really good job. I mean, starting really, you know, up front, um, just you know, like we, we've talked about, really three new guys with, with Cam Dye in there, with Finsky and Marcelo, uh, you know, really having an opportunity to compete. And, and those guys have done a great job. It really starts up front, moving around, you know, going to have a new center. So Chase even playing more center and, and playing around with who's going to be, be the center. So And then the receivers have really done a great job. You know, really all four of the new guys have shown flashes. Uh, the backs, you know, bringing in. We really have three new guys uh, with a new freshman uh, early enrollee, and then the two transfers have have shown flashes as well. So, uh, and then you know, DJ at quarterback being being new, and Jake as well as a you know a young freshman has done a good job of operating. Uh, I've told DJ the same thing. I mean, through eight practices as a quarterback, you're not going to have this whole thing down, and it's, so it's taking that rep. It's storing it away in your, in your mind, and then that's going to come back up. And so if you, you make a mistake, that's a good thing. It's like th now we, we can learn from that. We can teach you off of that. And so they've really all done a, a really good job. We talked so much a year ago, Coach, uh, of how improved the defense was and how they were a strength. And P.J. Jules, no question, so many of those seniors deserve to be recognized. A guy I feel like maybe got overlooked a ton was Ube and the impact he had. What type of role can he really fill now here in the spring? And not to say that he'll be PJ Jules 2.0. He's going to be Ube. But how good can he be, and how much can you put on this play? Yeah, I think the the back end. You know, you, you lose you lose PJ, but we have a lot of experience coming back. Uh, you know, Bade and, and and Mark and Iverson, Dez, uh, all of those guys, and then and CJ. You know, had to sit out last year, but we knew what he could be in practice. I think for Steve. Um, you know, where P.J. played at that nickel spot, the star spot, uh, is a natural fit for him. Uh, you're in the action a lot in that position. That's why P.J., you know, led us in tackles and uh, a lot of flexibility, a lot of strengths that uh, P.J. has, Steed has, but also a lot of uh, things that Steed brings to the table that maybe P.J. wasn't a strength. So I think that that's what's really good about Coach James is playing at his player's strengths. So it's not going to be like, hey, you have to come in here and – it's just like fill this box. I mean, let's create what do our guys do well. I think there's been a high standard that's been set from that side of the football. And really, that, that's, the, that's the new standard. So finding a way, every team's going to be a little bit different, but there's a standard about which we go and the expectations to stop people and uh, turn people over. And so um, they've been doing a really good job. It's been, uh, I would say, from the first 
five to six practices, the defense has, has really won of a lot of the, the competitions and the team settings. Uh, sometimes that's natural when you're, when you're breaking in a lot of new offensive guys. Uh, the offense had a pretty good day today and some of the short yardage and the, the competition. So as the head coach sitting back, uh, you want to see some of that, that competition and each side of the ball having their moments uh, as we try to put together this team. You'll, of course, integrate more and more guys as you get into the summer. And then, of course, in the fall, we saw a lot, Coach Hill, in the postseason games across the board, how special teams made a huge impact. How important are the special teams reps right now to where – Maybe fans don't realize that it will eventually show up in late November and December, but how important you reinforce that with the, with your guys right now? Well, if, if you've said in our team meetings, special teams meetings, you know, uh, the amount of clips that we've even pulled up from from other games, you know, Montana really made a run to this, the, the national championship on having an elite returner. But it's just it's just not the return guy. It's the commitment to the front line. It's it's every rep. So. Um, you know, we spend just as much time in the, the meeting room and, and the emphasis at practice of putting together an elite special teams. I think every team across the country will set out to do that. It's got to be the buy-in from the players. You do have to have some elite skill at the, the, uh, the return position. And then also when we're talking about special teams, the kicking position, the punter, uh, we've tried to address that in, in recruiting specifically. Um, with some guys that we've pinpointed, like not only could be a really good player, but he can be a really good return guy. And so I feel good with where we're at. We just got to keep committing to it. Let's talk about Friday night, a really special opportunity for the fans, not just those in DeCoin, DeCoin that come out and see your group. I know how much DeCoin means to you in terms of that community, but just the importance of why you want to do this and why this is really important night for you and the program. Well, regardless of where we go, obviously, like you touched on, you know, uh, coming back to, to my home down must be, I think, the third time that we've done that in the past. And um, the big thing is just changing up the routine of spring ball. I think it gives us an opportunity to, to get out of our comfort zone of practice. The guys have to get on a bus. They have to go somewhere else. It's you know, simulates, um, you know, an away game um, to some point is where you got to be able to perform in a lot of different environments. Uh, different schedule, practicing at a different time. There's fans there. Uh, you know how do you how do you perform when the lights are on and there's other people there. It's not you know early in the morning where nobody's here, and so it just creates a good environment for us to go get some work in. And then of course just you know giving an opportunity for fans to come and, and watch. Um, I think it, it's uh, it'll be a, a great opportunity for people to come and see some of the new players. Uh, it'll be fun for kids to come and watch a college practice. It'll be fun for high school kids to come and watch. I mean, uh, right down there close and see what a college practice looks like. And then, um, you know, just engaging the fans, autographs afterwards, free posters. Uh, we're doing some giveaways, you know, at the, towards the end of practice. Um, I think that the more that we could do that, the better. The other side of it, too, is the importance of the home crowd. We talk about it all year long. It's a great opportunity for families to get half price season tickets. It's a great package for them, and not in turn, it's great to get them at the games because it's such a huge part of what this program is about. Well, I, I, it really, when you think about a football program, it, it's, it's really everybody. Uh, I think when you're trying to build a, a championship, program, uh, the fans are, are just an important piece as, as anything. I mean, it is a, a legitimate piece of how we're going to do this thing. And so uh, season ticket holders, people coming out to games, creating a home field advantage. And we want to make that affordable. We want to make it a, an opportunity that there's really no excuses not to come out to the game. And, you know, half price on this night uh, to get there, that's a good incentive to, to get there. I mean, when you think about it, you know, we have six home games this year for the first time in a long time, and you can buy a season ticket for $35. There's not a bad seat in Saluki Stadium. I mean, I remember when I was coming to, to games, when my brother played, That's I, I like to sit in the end zone. You get a great view. I mean, when we're watching tape as a coach, we want that behind view. You can see the game unfold. You can watch it. So you can buy I mean, that's less than $6 a, a game. Uh, there's not a lot of things that you can do. I know with my family that you can go to for for six dollars. And I mean, you can't go to high school football games. The admission's going to be six bucks. And 
So to be able to be a season ticket holder um, at Saluki Stadium um, means a lot to, to me. It means a lot to the program, and it's a, it's a great night to come. If they haven't been a season ticket holder, this is a great opportunity. It is an outstanding opportunity again Friday night in DuCoin. Be sure to be there to get to know Coach Hill and his team even more. And for more on Saluki football spring coverage, you know where to stay. That's right here, SIUSaluki's.com.